We'll go under Administrative Tools, Remote Desktop Services, and Remote Desktop Session Host Configuration. Inside of here, you'll select your RDP TCP, because we're using Remote Desktop Protocol, port 3389, by the way, and we'll bring up the properties. And what we're doing is we're talking about authentication. And the authentication under security layer, what we're going to do is, is we're going to do um, SSL and TLS. TLS is transport layer security. SSL is secure socket layers. It uses port 443 for the authentication. So you would select that. And this means that not only are we going to uh, authenticate the user, but we're also going to go in and set up a secure pipeline between the client and the host. And again, one of the requirements of secure socket layers is that the, uh, the remote desktop server and the client have to be in the same domain. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the client machine. Actually, we're going to set up a group policy so that the client machine will go in and allow us to delegate credentials. And the way that uh, credential delegation works is that we're going to go through, and let me telestrate this. We're going to go through, get to the right machine here, there we go. We're going to go in and uh, we will authenticate. So here's our, we'll say that this is remote desktop server one. And then we have another remote desktop server. Let's say that this one has all of our little applications in it that we want to share out on the client's desktop. So when the client machine comes in and connects up to this remote desktop server, they have to authenticate. And usually it's done when they authenticate via Active Directory. They come and get their permissions and all that. But then when they want to pull down this remote app, they have to authenticate again. And it'll pop up a dialog box. And what we want to do is we want to avoid having that pop up a dialog box. So we're going to allow delegation. And what delegation does is it means that when I connect to this particular machine, it is going to pretend to be me. And then it will go in and do the authentication and it hides the dialog box because it does in the background using uh, transport layer security. And all I get is the application. I don't get the dialog box that says you have to authenticate. So let's show you how we would configure that. I'm going to go into the group policy management console. So we'll say administrative tools. And I'll get into group policy management. And what you would do is you would set this up in the domain, at the domain level. Or if you don't want to do a delegation for all your user accounts, because in some cases you don't want to delegate user accounts, um, you would do it in an OU. So we're going to do this for the finance department. So I'm going to edit the group policy. And this is over on page 59, exercise 2.9. And we're going to do this on computer configuration. So inside of computer configuration, we'll go into policies, we'll go into administrative templates, and then we'll get into system. And at the very top, we have uh, credential delegation. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to select allow delegating default credentials. So we'll click on that. Then we'll say enabled. And then what you need to do is you need to go in and identify the particular servers that are allowed to delegate. So even though we're setting up delegation, we're not going to go in and we're, going to, we're not going to say, hey, any machine in my environment can pretend to be my users because that would be a bad thing. <laughs> you would end up with machines pretending to be users and gaining access to stuff that they, they really shouldn't gain access to. So you have the ability to go in here and you can specify the particular servers that you want to add. For example, I can say SLC, PDC, 01, and we'll say OK. And now I have my server SLC PDC01. It's not a great interface. It's not something that Microsoft has, um, has really polished yet, but it pretty much does the job. So you'll say enable, allow delegation of default credentials. Uh, and you have to have at least Vista to, uh, to allow you to do that. So, and that's how we can do it.